welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Milani Bella Eyes eyeshadows. Um, I pulled up on my phone Milani's like information here about their eyeshadows. Um, and I mean, there's a picture of a, like an eyeshadow online compared to like one here. So yeah, if you guys are weary of it, don't be. But I'm going to read a little bit about what they have to say. They say that the Bella Eyes are a gel powder. What would that even look like? Well, you I'll t we'll tell you. Okay. Um, it looks like rich, vibrant color that glides on in a single stroke, delivering a stunning, multi-dimensional effect. What makes it a gel powder? Well, the formula starts as a gel and then is transformed by a special process into a stunning powder. Eyeshadow with pure color and power wear. The unique process allows you to blend this incredibly innovative, weightless formula easily with your fingertips to light up your eyes, even more to entice... It can be used wet or dry, resists creasing, and comes in satin matte, shimmer, and iridescent metallic finishes. You just have to try this gel powder. It's that different. So, yeah. On Milani's, like, website, they are retailing right now for $4.99. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it's on the screen. They have all the colors here available. That's their color selection. I only have eight of them. I wish I had all of them but I don't so let's go ahead and get into the video I am gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys um, just dry I'm not gonna do wet swatches if you want to see them wet uh, you can just request that down below and I can make a separate video or something like that just do a quick thing in a vlog I don't know but I'm just gonna do them dry because I feel like that's all that's necessary with these I have now keep in mind, every single one of these has Bella in front of the name. I'm just going to be saying the second name and the finish. So this is navy, and it is a satin matte, right? Yeah, satin matte. I don't even need to do this, but I did it. So there is the navy. It's a satin matte. I definitely agree with it because with that finish, because when you look at it dead on, it looks straight up matte. And then when you like shine it in the light, you can see that it's like kind of glowing. Then we have Cobalt, which is a satin matte as well. And let me just swatch this guy. There it is. This is the only one that broke. You guys can see I'm like putting my finger through the window. Um, this one broke because when I closed it, I pressed down on this and it popped right out. So this is teal and this is a metallic. So here is teal and honestly they all look like they have the same amount of shimmer but when you look at it dead on it does look like it has a little bit more of a glisten instead of these other two where it looks a dead on matte and then it has like a little bit of a gloss to it or something so it's really interesting how it's like that silver and this is also a metallic so here it is these also have like a little bit of an indentation if you guys can see that and they're also domed um, I don't know if that matters to you guys or not. So here is Silver. And I mean, these ones are a little bit more shinier than these, but I feel like they all just have the same kind of sheen. Charcoal, and this is one of their shimmer. But you can definitely see that in the pan. And these ones are really stunning. So here is Charcoal. I never like swatch down like this way so here is charcoal and this one is a lot more like shimmery and metallic to me um, it's like the finish is very fitting for it and it is like charcoal um, it's a kind of like a taupey charcoal to me as well as the silver it's a little bit more taupe I want to talk about is violet and this is a shimmer finish and it definitely doesn't look like it's a shimmer finish at all especially in the pan compared to the one I just showed you guys um, and I would definitely call this one more of a satin matte, in my personal opinion. Um, so here, let me just do a better swatch, because I never do it correctly. Alright, so here is Violet, 
and it doesn't have as much sheen as this shimmer but yet they still claim that it's a shimmer and it's definitely more of a satin matte because again when you look at it dead on there doesn't look like there's any shimmer in it and then when you start to turn it in the light you can see the shimmer so I definitely think it's a satin matte purple and this one's just a darker like eggplant shade I think it's really beautiful and stunning and yeah not much more not much else I can say about it here it is it's very pretty and I do like that it's still purple a lot of times these darker shades can just get really muddy and just not even a color and you're like what is that I thought it was purple and it's just not so I like that it's still the same color um, fuchsia which is a satin matte and there it is in the pan super pretty color um, and I'm just gonna do a little couple pass overs here and they say that this one once again is a satin matte and here's what this one looks like sorry it's like such a bad place and it is more pink and it is definitely a satin matte in my opinion maybe even more on the matte side okay so with all of those swatches on the hand I was able to kind of touch them feel them find out the texture and honestly I don't see how they are a gel to powder formula at all they basically feel like a very buttery smooth powder that you would get almost from any brand um, you know some aren't so good but they just feel like a buttery smooth eyeshadow there are a couple of them do have some fallout um, which would be the charcoal the navy and the purple so basically the darker shades in this collection have some fallout which I don't mind fallout honestly I'd rather have an eyeshadow be super pigmented than have no fallout and I have to keep building it up that's just my personal opinion because fallout is way easier to clean off than anything else because I always do my eyes and then my face because that's just the way I am but all of these are really beautiful very pigmented I love that all the dark shades stay their, their color like navy is still blue this purple eggplant mauve is still that purple eggplant mauve and the charcoal is still like that taupey kind of charcoal sometimes these colors get really muddy and things and that's why I don't tend to go for those shades as much but these ones seem to be ballin um, as far as applying them and longevity and things like that they apply very smoothly but I did find that this teal one faded over a course of five hours um, so here is teal this one faded on my eyes about like for the course of five hours but yes I did prime my eyeshadows with what I always prime my on my eyelids um, with what I always prime my eyelids which is the elf HD lifting concealer and then I go over it with a face powder or um, just like an eyeshadow that matches my skin tone that day I just used a face powder um, when I wore it so I don't know why it faded but matching is really pretty very simple the only thing is I find that it's a little bit difficult to open and I'm not sure why but it's just difficult to open because there's not like a whole lot of like side space here to use to open it so I don't know that's just a little thing and then also just these windows might pop out if you are pushing on it to close it they might pop out none of these have and I'm not trying to like do it again but um, none of the other ones have but I had this one do that to me because what I did was I was closing it and when I closed it let me see here I'll just go in there correctly I did this and it popped right out so I just was pushing on that elevated window and it popped right out but I love gold I love that they are gold like metallic at the top kind of matte on the bottom that's my little review on Milani's Bella eyes eyeshadows um, I have eight all of the ones that I talked about today are going to be listed down below I'm going to link to you the site for Milani if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with all your friends so they can see this lovely review. And be sure to subscribe so that you get notified when I upload new videos, which is Tuesday sometime throughout the week and two videos on Saturday. Right now, I'm at 262 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for, for your support. Anybody that's ever clicked on my videos, watched my videos, subscribed to my channel, anything ever, thank you so much.
as far as sharing or commenting or just watching it for three seconds and leaving, like, thank you for your support because I'm partnered with such a great network. Um, I've met so many great people here on YouTube um, and just I love the support that my subscribers, you guys, give me. Sorry, my mirror keeps turning on. So, with that being said, make sure that you're subscribed because once I hit 300 subscribers, I'm going to have a huge giveaway. Thank you guys for being such amazing supporters. So, anyways, tell all of your friends to subscribe to my channel and so that they can maybe possibly win a gift. You know, never know. So, anyways, gotta go. See you later. Bye.